Welcome to Magic Info Services. In this video, I will show you how to install the Magic Info software on your own local server. So for this, you can go to our website in order to download the software. You can go to Support and click on Installation Magic Info. So once you've done that, you can see this page. And you can click on this button in order to get the software. This will lead you to this form. You can fill in this form and this form will lead you to the files. So once you've filled in the form, here you can see the installation files. And if you scroll down a little bit, you can see multiple files, but the only first two are the ones that you really need. First, you have to download the Postgres database, and the second one is the Magic Info Server. So once you have these two downloaded, you can get ready and install them. But first, you have to make sure that you have Google Chrome installed on your server and Notepad++ as well. These two are also required. So next up is we're gonna install Postgres. So click on run. And the Postgres will start installing. Click on next, click on next again, next. And here you have to fill in a password. This password is pretty as essential because you will need it later on in the installation progress again. So make sure to think of a proper password and fill it in twice. Now, as I said, this password is really essential because you will need it later on again. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to open a notepad++ file and save my password right there. So here is my notepad and here I fill in the password that I just inserted into the Postgres installation as well. I call it my database password. And now you can continue with the installation and click on next. Click on next again. Continue. And now the installation starts. Now this might take over a few minutes of your time in order to get the installation done. So once the installation is done, you have to make sure to untick the box of the stack builder because this is an additional program which you do not really need. So once you've done that, you can click on finish and then the Postgres setup has been completed. Now next up is installing Magic Info Server. So you can click on the setup. Select your language and click on OK. Click on yes and click on next. Make sure to accept the terms of the license agreement and click on next again. Select your destination folder. These default settings are all correct already. Click on next. Now here is your IP address and we advise you to save this IP address also in the notepad file because you will need this IP address later on again in order to sign into Magic Info Services. So open the notepad again. And here I note down my IP address. So once that is done, you can click on next. And here you have to fill in the password again that you filled in for the database of the Postgres file. So I'm going to Copy my password and I will insert it right here. 
click on next. And this information you also have to save. So it will save this a text file is there as well. But we also advise you to copy this text and again, paste it in the notepad document. There you go. Now, once that is done as well, you can click on next again and click on install. So now the magic info setup will install itself as well on the server, which might also take up a few minutes of your time. So once that is done, you can click on next and click on finish. Now make sure to save the notepad document because you do not want to lose this data. So now the magic info will install itself again in the background. Um, and we advise you to wait a few minutes before going onto Google Chrome and reaching out to your server because this might take a while before this setup is fully completed. Now, how do you reach your server from now? Make sure to copy your IP address, which is in your notepad file followed by this information 7001 slash magic info with a capital m and a capital i which is really important and here is your magic info login screen now the default settings are admin and the pass default password is admin 2016 so once you fill that in, you can click on sign in. And now you're assigned in as a server administrator to your Magic Info Services account. Now, in order to get the most out of it, you first have to activate licenses because this will open up more options and settings as well. So for this, we're gonna go to settings and click on license info. Now. In the description of this video, you can see an additional video of activating licenses. So now I will just activate a free license in order to get you started. So you can select any free license that you want. Make sure to fill in these credentials of your company and click on save. Now you can either decide to log in again or refresh the page. Now, as you see, once you've activated the license, you get way more possibilities and you can now you can play around with magic info um, we advise you first to connect a display as well because this will allow you to create more content than when you do not have a display connected and this is the process of installing magic info on your own server thanks for watching